shit. All right, guys, interior is all done for now. Carpet's black, center console piece, gray. Uh, I think I gotta paint this as well, because as you can see, this looks all brand new and this is all yellow and old. But interior is coming together. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Maybe if I added a couple more coats, it'll look nicer, but the thing is when you spray too much, the carpet will feel a little rough, you know what I mean? So this is the best we can do. Um, we got the smell out, we got the stains out. Well, technically the stains are still there, but you just can't see it. But yeah, guys, interior is looking good. Uh, but there's one more thing I wanna do. There's one more thing I wanna do, which is the headliner. Uh, the headliner is disgusting. There's stains, there's scratches. And here's the thing about headliners. You can't go all crazy and clean the headliner with product and stuff like that. You don't want the headliner to get too damp because what's gonna happen is if you wet the headliner too much, it's gonna, it's gonna mess up the adhesive and then it's gonna sag. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna paint it. I think black would look a lot nicer. We do have, we do have half a can left. I picked up another can, so we got one and a half cans. That should be enough for this project. And once we're done with that, I wanna do an engine detail. It's kind of messy in there. Uh, once we get that done, we can call it a day. But, oh fuck, child lock, Ooh. No way. How do I get out? It's so hot in here. Oh! Okay. Boom. What was that? Sunflower seeds? Ew. Check out my new skateboard. Sick. All right, engine needs a good detail. There is grime all over here. All the black has turned gray. Right here, over here. Uh, valve cover has oil on it and grease. This, this plastic piece right here has some weird watermarks on it, so I'm thinking about repainting this. Uh, intake has a little, there's a little black spots. I want to clean that. Uh, I think this is the heater core hose. There's some weird stuff on there. So let's do that guys. Let's take out the headliner and then let's detail the engine bay. San Jose Police Department. guys headliner is out we cannot spray it right now because we got cars all around us everyone's still working so we gotta wait for them to leave we don't want to get overspray on their cars uh, Randy got overspray on that black truck over there and we spent like six hours trying to get it out so so we're gonna wait uh, for now Randy's gonna go live I'm sorry it's so bright we're gonna go live we got a dunk tank we're gonna see some of the homies get dunked. So we'll come back to the headliner after the duct tank.
All right, headliner's going back in. guys interior is all done kind of except for the trunk we will finish the trunk once we finish these holes or when we, once we fix these holes but uh, I just got a really really good idea right now what I want to do is I kind of want to build a stealth camper uh, first I do want to get with that rooftop tent eventually but let's do a stealth camp for now so what my plan is I want to build a mattress frame that's as big as from here to where the seat folds down right here and basically, when I'm driving, the seats will be up, uh, the, the mattress frame will be like a two-piece. So, uh, hear me out. When I'm camping, all I gotta do is, I come over here, I uh, lift these seats up, drop this down, and then since the mattress frame is a two-piece, I can unfold it, and then it'll extend all the way over to there. So it'll be like a three, a three by five, bed frame and then I could put like an air mattress or like a like a mattress topper on top uh, right here we have power what I want to do is I want to get an inverter and then run the inverter into here the inverter will have like two plugs and whatnot so this is where I'll be charging my phone my laptop and all that kind of stuff and over here I want to mount a TV right here or a monitor right below I'll have a shelf for my PlayStation and then right below I want to build like a table so that uh, let's say if I want to edit my videos or whatnot I can use this as a table so the table will go from here like to here and then I'll have storage space here storage space here I want to get started on that before I leave to Jamaica in June hopefully we can finish by then so I cannot wait to just get started on that honestly but uh, for the rest of this video I know I did mention that I want to detail the engine bay but we're not gonna do that anymore because I want to save that for when we take apart the engine um, I mean we're not really taking apart apart but I want to take off the valve cover and then the intake manifold just to replace the gaskets and stuff like that. I want to change the timing belt because for four runners, you need to change it every 90k miles. We're currently at 177,000, so we're getting pretty close. I think we'll do the engine bay detailing once we work on the engine, you know, because I don't want to take things apart, put it back together, take things apart, and put it back together. Uh, I feel like that's a waste of time. But for the rest of the video, I want to do some shopping. I want to get some stuff for the four runner. Uh, this thing came with like a steering wheel cover already which is pretty cool. The steering wheel is not too bad. It looks kind of dirty. I'll just leave it alone. Um, I do want to get some floor mats. Um, I just want to get some accessories for this. You know what I mean? I want to, I kind of want to just personalize it. I need to get some air fresheners because it smells like paint in here. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what else we can get. Maybe like that thing for my neck. But uh, yeah, let's go. Let's see. <laughs> let's see if I have gas. If we don't have gas, then We'll just take the Harley. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we're empty. All right, how much gas? How much gas do we have in here? Oh, we got a good. We got a good amount. All right, where can we get stuff for cars that is cheap? Hmm. I know just the spot. Forerunner spotted. I don't know what years this is. It looks older than mine though. What's cool, four wheel drive. But here's the place I'm talking about, Ross. I'm pretty sure I could find some floor mats for cheap. All right, here we go. How much is this? $14. I think this at uh, O'Reilly's was $20, $30. LED strips, $17. Eh. Well, let's put this down real quick. This shit's hell heavy. How am I gonna carry this on the bike? Huh. 
I'll just carry it. Okay, some lumbar support. Nah. Yeah. What is this? I like an organizer. No, Roy needs a Roy needs a mattress. Wait, I can't carry this on the bike. I have to come back for this. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need to come back for this. It's so much cheaper here. $19 for this. I think at Petco it would be like 40, 50 bucks. See, this would be 50 bucks at Petco. $16. Alright, everything was $21. Deals. Sick ass parking, what the hell? Alright, we do not think this through. Should we just sit on it? Just put it in the front? Alright, this is how we're transporting it. We're gonna sit on the mat. And hopefully it doesn't get caught on the tires. All right, new floor mats. Let's go. God damn, I need to clean this car. This is garbage. Oh. Let's move that. Uh, we don't have to move the seat up. Okay, it's a little big, but I think with these, you should, you, they give you, the, you have the option to cut them. <sighs> Not too bad. Yeah, I definitely need to cut these. Okay, these are for the front. Perfect fit for $16. Hell yeah. Overlanding is not gonna be cheap. You gotta save some money. Cool, nice. Uh, let's move it up a little bit. Perfect. I literally just bought like two pieces of plastic. But, I don't know. I really, it, I find it really annoying when I drop stuff in between my car, in between my seats, so I feel like this is a good, I feel like this is a good purchase. Let's see. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not quite too happy with it. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's whatever. But you know what we can do though? What we could do is we could 3M on one side and just have it sit right here or something like that. I don't know. Maybe, we'll see. Uh, I don't mind keeping them. I mean, it does hold my phone kind of nice-ish. It does fall down though. I think it needs like, yeah, if it was higher, I might need to put like 3M. I think right here would be cool. It's whatever. It's not the greatest idea, but it was cheap. If I were to go back in time and convince myself not to buy this, yes. We went to Ross. Told you guys it was expensive. Pretty much the same quality too. Let's see what they got here. This is so sick. We're gonna need this. 190. It just folds. Sick. 
there a handle back there? No handle. This is pretty cool. I think we're gonna need this. All right, guys, we got floor mats. We got that thing, floor mats in the front. Everything's looking good. Headliner is looking good. But I think that is it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried to go find some more stuff to buy for the floor render, but I just couldn't, I didn't, I didn't find anything. So we're just gonna end it here. Uh, in the next video, we are going to fix the trunk and then we're gonna get the car up on jack stands, pressure wash the bottom, and then repaint the bottom of the car to prevent frame rot. Uh, and then after that, I want to start on that camper build. So I got enough wood at home to build some of the parts, but I need some three by sixes. So hopefully we can get started on that in like maybe two weeks. Um, there's this company that wants to send me this power bank. I think it's like 1200 watts, super cool. Uh, and, it's, and it's exactly what we need because remember how I told you guys I want that gaming setup? Well, I think I should be able to power the TV and my PlayStation for like four to five hours with that. I don't know. They're, they I just got the email, they shipped it today. I should be getting it tomorrow. So I'll be making a video on that real soon, maybe in the next couple of days. But in the next video, we're for sure, we're gonna fix the, uh, the holes and then we're gonna paint the bottom of the car. Um, that's coming up next but yeah that's all i got guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if there's anything you guys want to see me do in this channel let me know down in the comments below a lot of you guys mentioned catch and cook fishing with roy and stuff like that but if there's any other ideas you guys want to see let me know down in the comments below and once we get everything done once we finish this build we will do that so yeah that's all i got uh i'll see you guys in the next one peace